vegetable patch. Right here we have some mint. Beautiful and it smells like mint. You can use this to cook so that's why it's so great to have them in your back garden. And here we have tomatoes and then right here we have onion. They don't look like onion but they're a different type and smell a lot like onion to me. I wish cameras could smell, they smell a lot like onion and both of these smell amazing and here we have the potatoes and here we have the grapes as well can you see the baby grapes you may need to come closer you can come closer it's right there there's a group all turned into a grape oh hi guys I didn't know that I was over here so right here, we have a big, big pear tree. That's the biggest tree in our garden, to be exact. Or is it that one? I don't know. But here are the pears. Zoom in if you want to see. Guys, guess who all is helping the bees? Three different heroes. Can guess the first? Shout it out. Yes, it is soil. We get this stuff for getting grass and even the biggest trees grow from all the soil. Second hero. Yes, it is the worms. Worms eat the soil and it goes through the body and the nutrient soil soil comes out at their gut. In other words, poo. And now the next superhero giving you a clue, it flies. And giving you a second clue, it's been eaten by these birds, bee eaters. Yes, it is the bees. And I just seen one fly right past. That's even better, bees. So if this was a flower, we have some other flowers here. Bees really like nectar, but they are fussy. They like the best brightest colours and they smell strong sweet. I see a really sweet and strong one but it's a secret where it is. But it was bright red, it smells so strong like whoa it could blow me off my feet because it smells so good. And this is our wild garden. The whole garden is filled with fruits, vegetables, and carbohydrates such as potatoes. It's so amazing that we are eating sustainably because we are planting our own food. Thanks, buds. <laughs>